Okay, quite a geeky tutorial for you today. Um, I was looking through Flickr, um, some pictures on there, and I came across a guy, this was quite a while ago, a guy called Pisco Bandito, who makes some absolutely amazing and stunning images. And if you get a chance to, I would recommend going to check out his site on Flickr. Um, but one of the pictures that really struck me that I thought was quite funny was a picture of an apple with a face. And it's quite a disturbing picture, actually. It, um, just this face on the apple is just quite an odd picture. I thought I'd try and recreate that effect with the GIMP um, and then show you how to do it. <coughs> so this is the geeky element of it. Um, the face I have chosen is the face of Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, and of course my own image of an apple as well. So the first thing you're going to need is these two pictures, or whichever face you want with an apple, and then you're just going to need to select um, the face that you're going to use. So that's really all we need there. And then we're going to copy that and then we can minimize because we don't need anything else. And then with this we're going to paste into the layer. So we go to edit and paste into and the face arrives. And if we just click on that, oh sorry, if we just turn that into a new layer, there you have it. Now that looks terrible at the moment and it isn't particularly useful. So we're going to need to do a couple of things to blend this image in. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is get rid of any parts of the face that we don't actually want, so it's just the face. So I'm going to use my trusty eraser for that and just go around this very quickly. and we just get rid of those last bits ok so that's the first thing done uh, then we need to change the size of it so I'm going to go to scale uh, and click on that and just make it a bit bigger preferably to try and match the size as good as possible as well as possible sorry and I'm just going to change the perspective of this slightly as well just so I can oh damn it little tip always make sure you press the scale button once you've done that otherwise what just happened to me will happen so I'll just quickly do that again and then you press scale <laughs> and then as I was about to I'm just going to change the perspective slightly just to There we go, that'll do the job. And here we just need to press transform. Okay, so we're getting there, but you can't really see that that's an apple at all. It just looks like he's sort of growing on branches. So we're going to go over to the layers mode, um, which is what I used for the cracked face tutorial, um, where we used multiply or overlay, I can't remember which. Um, with this, we're going to use something very similar. And um, for this one, I'm just going to use value because um, I was playing around with these earlier and I found that when I pick value this is the kind of effect that we had and that's pretty much all we need to do um, I'm just going to get rid of that yellow border by going to layer and layer to image size and as I said that's really all we need to do um, I can clean it up a little bit where I think we need it. Um, and I could obviously, oh, hello. I might as well get rid of this one as well. We could blend this a little bit more with um, our smudge tool and things like that, but I actually like this effect as it is, I'm not going to play around with it too much because it's only for a tutorial, but um, that's basically the effect, um, I hope you have fun with it. <laughs> 